Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Trevor Schultz for the invitation for coming to this amazing event and also to apologize for my mistakes and my accent. I can assure you that my Portuguese is wonderful. I try to do my best. <laughs> yes, Trevor knows me a lo long time ago and so he knows that my Portuguese is wonderful even if he doesn't understand. But actually someone told him that it is. Um, so, uh, in my presentation, I will discuss some projects which I think are showing possibilities of problematizing in a creative and critical way the uses of mobile media and of networks, uh, pointing to new cognitive and perceptive repertoires. I believe they point to new directions because they challenge us to think about social interaction or and action, which means agency, instead of proposing new interactive futures. Um, interaction uh, has become one of the most recurring words in our culture. It has invaded the advertising discourse, transformed into a commodity of the tele information and telecom industry and consolidated as one of the dimensions of mediated and mediatized sociability that supports social networks as Facebook and alikes. As a matter of fact, everything is interactive today from our refrigerator to our telephone. Everything uh, demands interaction all the time and so in, and actually all those gadgets, uh, they promise and they deliver interaction and so what's our role today is more to cast, question this kind of interactive uh, interaction and um, interactive models and point to new directions. Um, the projects that I will show are based on QR code, um, a very simple technology um, I think everybody here uh, is familiar with. Uh, basically, they are barcodes which can store different kinds of data and information, URLs, um, text, and phone numbers. They have many applications and uses, and I think the reason of their uh, success, this is my particular opinion, is that they allow us to get rid of the boring task of typing in, the small, in small keyboards. Uh, and this is really great. But what fascinates me uh, is that QR codes, it, maybe we can think about the QR code as the first writing form conceived for nomadic readers. Uh, it's a new kind of reader that not only doesn't read anymore in silence and alone, but reads the city around and reads on the move uh, while you're doing other activities, checking his email or talking on the phone, looking around on many information from electronic billboards and um, um, many, 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 many other uh, activities that run simultaneously. So um, this um, kind of reader, uh, also deals with different kinds and types of media besides text. It is an expanded reader, uh, and in, it is um, exactly this expanded reader, the target of the projects that I will show. Um, the first project um, I did with QR codes uh, was the suite for mobile text that it's, uh, I made in partnership with uh, Mauricio Fleury, who is a Brazilian musician. And the suite for mobile tags proposes an exercise of random and anonymous collective musical composition. 
the project is very simple. It's a kind of ready media project. If we, we could update the Marcel Duchamp notion of uh, ready-made, I would call this a ready media project. Um, the project is uh, based on a set of eight uh, uh, mobile tags, and each of them stores a phone number. And each of these numbers is powered by a ringtone. The installation room is always very simple with the QR codes and the phone numbers. Um, the QR codes are not directly related to the phone who is, uh, which is on them. Uh, in order not to make so easy the interaction, so obvious, the interaction is really easy. Um, each of uh, those uh, phone numbers is powered by a ringtone. And those ringtones are composed as short samples to be recombined in different ways by um, the audience. Uh, so participants point their cell phones to the tag and at, immediately they call a number and of course the phone rings and rings the tone that was called. Um, the thing is, um, I, I think I will show what happens that it's easier to understand. It's that everyone in the room calls a different number and so it becomes real a cacophony. And actually, more than 16 million combinations are possible because we have eight numbers and eight ringtones. So, uh, this is, was one of our presentations that it was in Buenos Aires last year. Oops, sorry.
So uh, the project is really, thank you. Uh, it's really very simple and it's in this way that I call it a re ready media project because nothing was really created for this project. We really rec recreated the basic uses and the most easy way of uh, thinking about a cell phone that's still to call someone or to text message someone and to use this in um, uh, with the new approach. And I think it was clear from, uh, it's easy to see from the video how it engaged the audience because it doesn't demand that they understand every step that we took in order to conceive the piece, but actually just to uh, give their, their self the opportunity of doing the combination that they want. And actually, it's always a big success. Every time that we uh, present the suite for mobile techs, now we are planning it in a new direction uh, for a concert room. Uh, it's really uh, amazing how the how everybody uh, gets involved in the process of creation and discovering the sounds and looking from what where it's coming and for older people trying to understand why they don't receive uh, they cannot listen. I think you could see in the picture and it's amazing also that we began this action in. Two, two years ago, actually. And it was kind of, wow, something uh, really a surprise. And uh, QR codes, they became so popular and so easy to use that it's becoming now a challenge how to put this in another context, for instance, in a concert room where you will we, we not have the possibility to orient the audience how to interact with the mobile tags that I think that they are already uh, part of our culture. The other project that I will present, uh, it's the Telebits 2.0. It's 2.0 because it is the second version of the same pro project and we changed so many things that it became another one. Um, Telebits uh, was developed by me and Rafael Marchetti. Um, for an educational exhibition and exhibition um, about telecommunications and culture. Uh, it was presented first in Brasilia and in our federal district and then in Sao Paulo. Uh, Telebits uh, has, um, it's a kind of uh, database movie or meta cinema piece or interacti interactive video um, about the cultural impacts of telecommunications in society and in our culture. It was developed, as I said, for an educational exhibition about the history of Telefonica Company in Brazil, the Spanish Telefonica Company. Um, uh, oh, uh, the Telebits um, has its database stored in Flickr and displays its contents in the form of a dynamic mosaic that you can see in this picture. Uh, the mosaic runs really fast and images are uh, displayed just part. Uh, we just display pa part of the image, not the full image that is stored. I think you can see that are just fragments of the images. And uh, they are all organized in according to four themes. Techno imaginary, that it's about histories uh, of Superman and Dick Tracy and whatever, uh, culture that it's related and engaged with new different kinds of telecommunication uh, fictional objects. Uh, is citizenship about of course, projects engaged in citizenship and new models of society, networks and mobility. And they are not uh, covering just contemporary history, but actually we try to expand those thematics uh, from the 
uh, from 19th century on. And all those images, they are intercepted by some QR codes placed among them. The audience uh, points their cell phones to the images when they are running, if they feel that something catches uh, their uh, attention. And as soon as they point their uh, cell phones, they zoom the information that it's behind the picture uh, with some uh, uh, description or explanation of what was happening. And at the same time, it appears in their cell phones in a more detailed way with all research sources that we use it in order to get this image and the reasons why we place it in one of those stems. I will show the video that also will make easier. This is quiet, so don't worry. There will no noise anymore. This is uh, no sound movie, but it's just to explain the action and how the interaction goes on. So you point your cell phone, you open, uh, the browser opens the image in full size on the screen with all the explanation. And in the cell phone, it details what is showed and where you can get more information about this and some reading recommendations. And uh, so uh, the idea was to give the stu to the students, which were the target of the exhibition, is uh, of the exhibition possibilities of continuing their reading at home or later or whatever, and they were really, uh, really happy with the idea that they could study using their mobile phones and doing it, browsing the web at the same time as they were in the with their professors in the exhibition space. Um, so the idea here was to work with the cell phone, exploring its potential as a remote <laughs> control and magnifying lens, which allowed to convert information in knowledge. Um, the, those two projects, they are very different, uh, and but in spite of their differences, um, I think that they, uh, they aim to rethink interactivity and mobility in the field of agency and of distributed intelligence, looking for the empowerment of their interactors instead of being empowered by their user, users. So I think this is was our main target in all of those projects, to avoid this marketing trend of looking how the product can be empowered by the interactors and more placing our expectatives and uh, choices on the idea of how this can uh, how this can empower the user so these were the most important things we did last years um, concerning not just education but new forms of sociability and thinking about mobile culture as a form of um, some ways mo uh, moving us from the reflection about interactivity to the reflection about agency and social, social change. So that's all. Thank you very much for your attention. And OK, I'm open for your questions.